Welcome to Throwback Thursday, where I play a game that I've already reviewed in the past. And this week, I'm going to be doing Space War on Atari 2600. More or less, the Atari 2600 version of what's many consider to be the uh, first video game of all time. <clears throat> How is this version? Ugh, it's... Uh, there's not a lot to Space War. I, you know, I went over it in my review. But it is a game, and I'm going to play it. <laughs> uh, it's not as unplayable. I, I, I gave it a really bad score. It's, it, it is very bare bones, very basic. Um, but it is decent with two players. I, though, I'm going to be playing with myself... Uh, I'm be playing the game on my own, is what I mean. And this particular uh, variation has where I, the whole goal, as in the one-player modes, is to uh, connect with the uh, I think they call it the space docket, some shit. I'm steering the ship and trying to make contact direct contact with the bouncing thing while that the 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 sun in the middle is exerting gravity so there's you know a little bit of something to it but uh you know like about as much as it can be in this variation it's this is not so bad. It's not so horrible anyway in two player. But even then, you're always gonna be like, ah, oh, let's play something different. It's just kind of. It's just very boring. It's uh, it's a very boring game. Very rudimentary. It was one of the older uh, Atari games for what it's worth. And I think there's. Uh, I just want to. Freaking come on. I mean, it's so hard to, to get it perfectly, especially with the control of the ship. And yeah, I did put the sun in there to kind of fuck with myself a little bit, but I just wanted to, you know, at least add something to what's already uh, not much of anything. Come on, come on. Jesus Christ. I just want to get one of these damn things. Score one point. Just one point. There's a... There's a time limit, I think. I've never played this long enough to find out. But the way that this is uh, going... I know that there's a time limit for um, two-player games. You know, you... Uh, I think it's ten minutes. Uh, and... It's... You know, first person... Uh, the, the player get the most points in the time limit. Or, I think that there's, uh, there's a goal to be had. Come on, come on. Uh, oh, my God. There it is. You have to get, like, you know, you have to get the damn, uh, like, you have to get it right on point. Pixel, pick, pixel perfect. So I got the one point. That was my goal. I'm all set. Uh, maybe I'll get one more or two. Nah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. This is uh, pretty much the game. I mean, th like I said, there's when you have two players, it's like a, a really shitty version of combat. When you get two players and you ha you're both trying to... Uh, you know, control these ships that are all over the place, and you've got the, um, you know, like, you can make yourself invisible for a short period of time, and you can go through the walls in some variations. I kind of wanted to do this Pong type of thing for this video, but, you know, this, this particular variation is one play variation, not fun. How did I not hit that? Come on, give me a break here. All right, well, I I got the one. The one is all I need. Uh, so close, so close. Come on. 
come on. It's like, it, 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 all right. You know, I was I was hoping to capitalize on being, you know, close to getting a second one. But that's it for this, uh, this game. <laughs> yeah, I know it sucks. But next week I'll go back to Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers three. I wanted to, you know, cleanse the palate a little bit and do, uh, you know, just get something different in there. But uh, yeah, this isn't much of a game. At least this particular uh, variation isn't. So that's it for this week. I'll see you next week when I uh, get back on the Super Mario 3 bandwagon. See you then.